when it becomes real is when it hits your, your door. We started having cases in the area. I just remember people getting sick. There was one man that uh, was diagnosed with COVID. And I just remember praying with him along with the family on the Zoom call. And he responded. And literally an hour later, he was dead. I have had three guys in their 50s dealing with COVID and they're, they're gonna make it. But boy, I'll tell you, it's taken a lot out of them. They were in the hospital and uh, really just, um, the big thing is they always talked about, it's just so hard to breathe. Our elderly, those that can't get out, those that have underlying health conditions, yes, they're drastically being affected by this whole um, shut-in. We have somebody on staff here at St. Bridget's. Her role, along with a lot of us, including myself, are to keep in contact with those shut-ins. As time goes on, the conversations are getting longer. And because people are getting lonelier and they just want to connect with somebody. But that's the part that's the hardest for me is because church is so relational. It's just, it's about community. It's about coming together. You know, we, we always, same bees make their own donuts. And so after church on Sunday, people would sit down and eat donuts, which they like, but that's not the real reason. The real reason they sit down and eat donuts is because of fellowship. They just want to connect with one another. And that's all missing. You know, one of the things that happens is, is we, you get weary because everything you do has to take longer. In other words, you just can't, if I plan to visit somebody, what I have to do is plan, okay, I can't, I gotta wear my mask. I can't touch this. It, is this person okay to visit? Do I have to do it outside? Do I have to do it on the phone? So everything takes longer and so you get weary. And I find that at the end of the day, I'm very tired. And sometimes, yes, I have to admit there, you, you're awake in the middle of the night, but I think that's like everybody else. I think the, the community, the stress, I. I think is um, for some people, what they're doing is they're acting out and they're saying to heck with it and they're just gonna go out and, and be in the community. That's how they're handling their stress. I don't agree with it because you're just gonna in, either infect yourself or infect somebody else. Reality is this is a national health crisis. So it, it just doesn't affect you as an individual, it affects the greater good. And I think what we have to do is look out for the greater good. Wash your hands, stay home when you're sick, and wear the damn mask. It's a small price to pay to keep our nation safe.